This is Mr. Thompson, and in this lesson we're going to be talking about how to take an improper fraction and turn it into a mixed number. All right, so that's a lot of words I just threw at you. Let me kind of break it down into, to tell you about what I mean. So this, of course, is a fraction. All right, we've been learning about that in class. We know what that is. Uh, let's break it down a little bit further. So this top number here is what we call a numerator. And then if we look at the bottom number here, this is called the denominator. The denominator. All right, so what do those two uh, big giant words mean? So when we're talking about fractions, we're talking about parts of a whole. So here I have a whole circle. The denominator tells me that this circle is divided into two parts, two equal parts. Okay. The numerator tells me how many of those parts I'm counting. So if the numerator is 1, then I know that, and the denominator is 2, then I know that my one whole, one whole, this will circle as one whole, my one whole is divided into two parts, and I'm counting one of those parts. So my fraction is 1 out of 2, 1 half. Okay? But today, we're going to be talking about what happens when I get a fraction that looks like this. So sometimes we see fractions like this, 5 over 2. And we can notice right away we have a problem. I mean, this numerator is too big. It looks wrong. Uh, that's why we call this an improper fraction. It's not actually wrong. It just looks different than what we're used to. Now, whenever I get a fraction like this, I know that this fraction is greater than one whole. It must be more than one whole to get an improper fraction. Let me show you what I mean. To figure out how many holes are in this, I need to draw some pictures. So that's what I'm going to do today. I could pick any shape, but I'm going to stick with circles for right now. All right, so I'm going to draw a shape, and I'm going to look at my uh, denominator here. Remember, this is my denominator. I'm going to look at my denominator, and that tells me that these shapes, the, this shape, my one whole, is divided into two parts. All right? So I've got one whole divided into two parts, and my numerator tells me that five of these parts are shaded. Well, let's look at this. I don't have five parts here. I just have one part here and two parts there. If I shade both of those, then I'm going to get the fraction 2 over 2. 2 out of 2 halves are counted. Uh, that's also the same thing as saying one whole circle is counted. All right, so clearly that's not enough. So I need another whole. So I'm going to do another whole circle. Again, I'm dividing it into two parts. All right, so let's count those. How many do I have now? So I've got one part, one count, half counted, two halves counted, three halves counted, four halves counted, okay? Clearly that's not enough yet, so I need to keep going. So I need to do a third hole, and I need to divide it into two parts, looking at my denominator, and then let's go and look back and see. All right, so now I've got one half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, okay? This is a way I can draw five halves. Okay? So now I want to try to figure out, okay, how can I write this as a mixed number? Which means I want to find out how many holes are there in, in this fraction. Well, as I've already explained, if you have 2 out of 2, if the numerator is the same as the denominator, like this one, it means the same thing as one whole. One, this whole circle is shaded in. Okay? So here, I've also got 2 out of 2, which is equal to 1 whole. And in this one, I have, okay, out of 2 total, 1 out of 2 is shaded. So let's look at this. So how many holes do I have? I've got 1 whole, another 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 holes. And then what's left over? 1 half here, 2 and 1. Half. So when I have an improper fraction like this, 
I can break it down into parts. The first thing I do is look at the denominator to see how many parts each hole is divided into. And I draw a hole, divide it into that many parts, and then I just keep repeating that and counting up until I get the, t the number that the numerator number, until I get the total number of counted parts. Remember, the denominator tells me how much, how many parts each hole is divided into. The numerator tells me how many of those parts I'm counting. So I'm counting five halves here. And if I look at it carefully, I can see that five halves is, this, is equal to two holes and one half. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to do a practice problem. So let's do a practice. As we're doing this practice, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and make sure you have a paper and pencil handy because I'm actually, I want you to try to do this one on your own. Okay, I'm going to assume you have your stuff ready. Uh, your practice problem for today is I want you to figure out, here's my improper fraction, 14 over 3. I want you to try to figure out how to take this and turn it into a mixed number. I want to know how many holes are in 14 over 3. If you get stuck, you can go back and watch how I solved that first problem. So you can actually rewind the video till you get back to this point and then try that. If you get completely stuck, then you can keep watching this video and I'll show you how to solve that. But I want you to try to get it yourself. Okay, I'm going to assume that you either got completely stuck or you're done and you're ready to check your work. So let's do this. All right, so I can see, if I look at the denominator here, I can see that this each hole in this fraction is divided into three parts. So I'm going to make a hole and I'm going to make this a, another circle today. And I'm going to divide it into three equal parts. Okay. Uh, and then I know that each of these is a third, and I need 14 thirds. So here I've got one, two, three thirds, four, five, six thirds, seven, eight, nine thirds, 10, 11, 12 thirds. 13, 14, 15 thirds. Okay, so I must have, I have to have enough here. So let me go back now and let's start counting these up. So this is one third, two thirds, three thirds, four thirds, five thirds, six thirds, seven thirds, eight thirds, nine thirds, 10 thirds, 11 thirds, 12 thirds, 13 thirds, 14 thirds. Ah, okay, so that's where I'm going to stop. All right, so now I'm going to look at each hole. So, okay, this is uh, three thirds here, and here I've got three thirds, and this one I've got three thirds, and this one I've got three thirds. And here I have thirds, but I've only counted two of them. So I'm going to write this as two thirds. All right, so I've looked at the denominator, I drew it out, and now I want to look at the number of holes and the leftover fractions. So let's look and see how many holes I have. So 3 thirds, that's equal to one hole, one hole, one hole, one hole. So how many holes do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four holes. Now I want to look at the leftover fractions. So what's my leftover fraction? So I have four holes and two thirds. So what's my answer? 14 over 3 is equal to 4 and 2 thirds. That's my answer. All right, now that we've gotten that done, it's time for your homework problem. I expect you to be able to solve this by yourself. If you need extra help, you can always go back and watch how I solved the first two problems. But this one we're actually going to check in class tomorrow. So when I when you come to class tomorrow with your homework, I expect you have a paper where you've drawn this, this out and actually solved it as well. So don't forget to show your work. All right, so your problem today is 
I'm going to give you the improper fraction of 7 thirds, and I want you to tell me, turn that into a mixed number. I want to know how many holes are in 7 thirds. Good luck.